The pair began the day in Littleton and then came to Manchester for a town hall meeting, a strategy that John McCain used to win two New Hampshire primaries. McCain says Graham can win here. The Stars, Stripes and Strings concert in Manchester was the final stop of a full day in New Hampshire for Senator Lindsey Graham and his friend, Senator John McCain. Before that, the two Republicans met voters at a house party in Bedford and held a town hall meeting at the American Legion Post in Manchester. I wouldn't be running in New Hampshire if I didn't think I could win in South Carolina. If I can break through here, then I get into the final group. The South Carolina senator says 2016's election is crucial to the security of America. There are more terrorist organizations with more safe haven, with more money, with more weapons, more men, and more equipment to hit us now than any time since 9-11. Graham argued against the nuclear deal with Iran, talked about securing the border and the need to rebuild the army. So we're going to send some soldiers back to Iraq with a sound strategy. McCain is asking Granite Staters for their votes, but not for him. What we're seeing here today is the beginning, I believe, of a wave of support for Lindsey Graham. The 2008 GOP nominee has two comfort behind victories in the New Hampshire primary. He says the key is town halls and meeting voters. All the television advertising and all the other PR doesn't matter to them. They want to see, touch, and question. The, uh, the candidates. McCain wants people to give Graham a chance. Graham says he's the man for the job. The world is a very unsafe place when you have a very weak America. A strong America makes the world a better place. I think I have the ability to make us strong. And despite trailing in the polls, Graham says national polling is about who's a celebrity and doesn't always reflect who would be best fit for the White House. Reporting live, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9. Thank you, Mike. Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders is drawing big crowds in the Granite State. The Vermont senator spoke at a town hall meeting in Manchester at Southern New Hampshire University. Sanders railed against extreme income inequality and proposed solutions for the working middle class. He also touted his ability to run what he calls a grassroots campaign without super PAC money. I made a decision which was not a very hard decision about which side I was on. And I was not on the side of Wall Street or corporate America. I don't want their money, and I'm not going to take their money. Tomorrow, Sanders will hold three more town hall meetings. The first is scheduled at the American Legion Post in Rawlingstone.